When you look at the iPad Air, it resembles its little brother, the iPad Mini. The iPad Air's entire design is based upon that tablet. Basically, the only difference between these devices is the size of the screen. Coming in at 7.9 inches of Retina screen, the iPad Mini is approximately 1.7 inches smaller than the iPad Air. Therefore, the iPad Air is 9.7 inches of beautiful screen real estate. In comparison with other major tablets like the Nexus 10 and Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1, the iPad Air definitely stands out as one of the better tablets. The biggest difference between the iPad Air and other tablets such as the Nexus 10 and Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 is that the Nexus 10 runs Android KitKat 4.4 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 brings a lot of new features and processing power to the table but with some setbacks as well. Stay tuned on our channel for another video of why you would choose iOS 7 over another tablet operating system coming in the next couple of weeks. The iPad Air has new 64-bit A7 processor and its new M7 co-processor. The iPad Air also has the new thinner bezels and a thinner chassis. The processor enables apps and pages to open very quickly and zooming and scrolling is just effortless and wonderful. It is made of aluminum and 28% lighter and 20% thinner than the previous generation. As with all iPads, they can resist a lot of damage from kids and foolish adults alike. One thing you want to see improved upon is the speakers on this device. Even though the speakers are big and can be pretty loud, the problem is, is that they're on one side of the device, so your hand covers it, and when you're watching a movie something, you only hear it from one side. However, the iPad really lacks in its OS, iOS 7, as it is too understated and simple. With tablets, you want to do more than just what you could do with the phone. In iOS 7, it is almost disjointing that you can put widgets or live titles on your home screen. However, we really enjoy the amount of quality games and apps for the iPad. The base price for the iPad Air is going to cost you a hefty $499.99 USD. The iPad Air has a great camera front and back. Let's take a look at some test footage. In our opinion, the camera on the iPad Air is great for taking photos and videos alike, one of the best in its class. This is the test footage for indoors video. So you can make your own analysis on how this looks, this is really what it looks like indoors with an iPad. This brings a close to this review of the new iPad Air from Apple. Thanks for watching and please comment any suggestions, comments, or concerns, and subscribe for lots of more tech videos. This is Mobile Gadget, just tech all the time.